Thank you very much, and congratulations. This is a remarkable gathering of an amazing group of talented people for whom uh, we, the people of Ontario, are greatly indebted to you for your leadership, your hard work, your innovation, and the remarkable integrity with which you bring to life and to every project and to building our environment. It is hard to imagine that there are any group of people who have lived through a greater period of change than we have in the last decade or so. The very fundamental nature of our economy has changed. For most of our life, it was production, working to make production more efficient. The amount and scale of what we would produce that determined our wealth. That production was the most important wealth generating activity in our economy. I was born in 1957, uh, and at that time, two thirds of Canadians made things for a living. If you were in Waterloo, you likely worked at Kaufman's Boots and Shoes. There was no rent. If you were in Cornwall, you probably were involved in chemicals and papers at Donaldson. We were very much a manufacturing economy, and our auto sector after the auto pack in the late, in the late 60s really formed a very solid foundation for this amazing production economy. And governments responded in very innovative ways. Uh, one of the great legacies when I was training in college as a university minister was uh, remembering the enormous legacy that Bill Davis brought this province in establishing Waterloo University and introducing the first community college, the first college in 1967. Had it not been for our college system, we would have never built, we would have never been able to build the skilled workforce in the 70s and 80s that allowed us to have all of the right skills. It improved our universities, it also improved our skill set, and we are now, having just in the last decade, almost doubled the size of our university and college system, the most educated workforce in the world. We have the best public school system in the English-speaking world, which is very important because 70% of our jobs now require a university or college education. And our employment recovery from the recession of 2008-2009 has largely been linked to that investment in education because of the 400, uh, roughly 400,000 jobs that have been created since, which is about 143% job recovery compared to about 50% in the UK and less than that in the United States, has a lot to do with the fact that it is highly educated people that we need to retain and attract and develop, and, and, they, and the capital that invests in Bill's building and Bill's companies really, really follows that talent.